What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you a recipe that got a lot of attention on my Instagram page. This is my recipe for shrimp etouffee and cheddar bay biscuit waffles. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. We're starting with our Cajun Trinity. So we got some bell pepper, celery, and onion. I like using one green and one red for the color. Chop them up, make sure they're the same size. And we're adding some diced tomatoes to the party as well. After that's all prepped and ready, we're gonna set that aside and get started on our Cheddar Bay Biscuit Waffles. These are absolutely phenomenal guys. If you haven't tried this yet, definitely give it a try. We need to shred eight ounces of cheddar cheese. And basically you're following the package instructions for the most part here. So we're gonna melt half a stick of butter, add in that garlic powder that they give you in the box. It's kind of like a ramen noodle packet. There we go, make sure we get it all out of there. Going in with a little chopped parsley as well for a pop of color and some fresh herbs. I also want to season this a little bit, so we're going in with some all-purpose seasoning or some Cajun seasoning, whatever you like. And now we're going to make our waffle batter. So we're going in with that biscuit mix into a mixing bowl. To that, we're going to add one and one-fourth cup of cold water. You want to add this slowly, kind of mix as you go. You're looking for a consistency that's a little bit thicker than pancake batter, but not quite as thick as biscuit dough, if that makes sense. We're gonna add that melted butter in there, give everything a nice mix, make sure everything's well combined. This is something that me and my cameraman kind of came up with one day as we were brainstorming. I uh, hope you guys really liked this recipe. It was very popular on my Instagram uh, page, so I figured I'd put it on YouTube as well. Next, we're folding in that cheddar cheese, and this is about the consistency or thickness that we're looking for right here. Just wanna fold those ingredients in there. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Next, if you're using frozen shrimp like I am here, you wanna make sure that one, they're peeled, deveined, and clean, but most importantly, you wanna make sure they're nice and dry. So get some paper towels and dry the shrimp to the best of your ability. This is super important guys, do not skip this step. If you do skip it, your roux is gonna to be too watery, so uh, definitely dry the shrimp as best you can as you see me doing right here. There we go. Next, we're going down with some Cajun seasoning. Use whatever you like. You don't have to go too crazy. There's gonna be plenty of flavor in this. Uh, so you just wanna season this shrimp lightly. Make sure you get both sides though. This is about one and a half pounds of medium sized shrimp. You don't really need to get the extra large stuff for this recipe either. So you can go with medium shrimp. There we go, looking good. To start our roux, we're gonna start with the shrimp. That way we get that flavor in the pot early. We're basically pre-cooking the shrimp here. So you wanna cook the shrimp for about 60 seconds or so. Once you've got them pre-cooked, you're gonna scoop the shrimp out with a slotted spoon, leaving behind all that delicious flavor. Go in with a little bit of avocado oil and about a third cup of butter, followed by a third cup of flour. And that's gonna get our roux started. So you don't wanna walk away from this, guys. We're gonna take this roux from a blonde roux, which is at right now, all the way up to a peanut butter colored roux. So you just wanna keep stirring. Got the heat on medium low here. You can bump the heat up to medium if you're feeling brave. And just keep an eye on it. There we go. We're up to about a mocha color right now. Once it gets to peanut butter, that's when we're gonna stop and add in our Trinity. Give that a nice mix. Be careful when you add those veggies, guys. You don't want that to uh, splatter up on you and burn you. So after about three to four minutes, once those veggies get nice and soft, we're going in with two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we're gonna mix those ingredients together as well. Next, we're going in with our diced tomato. You can see a beautiful fawn developing at the bottom of the skillet that we're definitely gonna get up with some chicken stock or, or shrimp stock if you have it. So we're going in with about three cups of chicken stock. You can add it a little bit at a time and mix as you go. There we go. Now we're looking like something. There's the rest of that chicken stock. Bring this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer. Like so. 
tons of flavor packed in here. There we go. You want to taste as you go and adjust the season. It's your preference. We're going in with a little bit of the worst word in the world sauce, about a teaspoon or two, followed by some Louisiana hot sauce. Depending on your spice preference, you can add more or less of that. Also adding some dried thyme and some smoked paprika. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. A little bit more Cajun seasoning. Got a good simmer going right now. About medium heat is what you're looking for. Give it a nice taste, see what we need. Then we're going back in with those shrimp after about 15 minutes, it's had some time to cook down. We're gonna add those shrimp towards the end so the shrimp can finish cooking. Next, we're adding some chopped green onions, both for flavor and color. Oh man, I wish I could jump in the pot. All right, we're gonna set that aside, let that simmer on low for a minute while we cook our waffles. So we're gonna crank this bad boy up to high because we want a nice crust on these waffles. We're gonna spray a little cooking spray down and go on in with way too much batter. We'll make it work. There we go, spread it out evenly and just let the green light let you know when it's ready. Oh man, that looks good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, this is a savory waffle, not a sweet waffle. You gotta give this a try, guys. It's packed with flavor. It's got the cheddar cheese in there. It's got that garlic flavor. Oh man. Definitely a way to spice up your brunch a little bit. Switch it up, get creative in the kitchen, try something new. There we go. We're gonna cut these into quarters and then we're gonna plate this up beautifully. Let me know in the comments if you plan on making this. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing what you guys recreate. Look at these waffles. There we go, beautiful presentation. Got them stacked on top of each other on a platter. Now we're going down with our shrimp etouffee. That's why it's important to get those waffles nice and crispy. That way they hold up with this sauce. You can also serve them separate if you want. I love them smothered just like this. Going down with a little bit more chopped green onion for a pop of color. Got a beautiful garnish here. And you know I gotta try this one. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. And of course the taste test. Where's my fork and my knife? I gotta get in there. There we go, moment of truth. We already know this one's gonna be good. Here we go. Oh man. The knees buckled a little bit. I think we're about to get a fork drop. Matter of fact, I'm going back in for another bite. Good to the last drop, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.